What's up everyone? 98.9% .9 of you are not subscribed to my channel. Make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. See you guys in the video. Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Bennett and why he is one of the best supports in the game no matter what. And let me just get it straight into it. Well, if you guys have been living under a rock, well, Bennett is one of the greatest uh, supports for many reasons, but I'm going to go over it really quick what some of his best builds are and why mine my build is terrible i'll go over why my build is terrible and how you guys could fix it yourself and what you could do to improve it and i'll sh sort of focus on that in this video so i can show you guys anyways we're just gonna get straight into it first and foremost bennett is one of the best support characters in the game 100 percent He's definitely up there. He gives an attack buff. He gives a healing buff. Uh, or not healing buff. Just healing in general. So if you build him. You're pretty much giving yourself <laughs> the best case scenario in every situation in the game. Not to mention. Guys. You don't have to have Bennett C1. But if you do. He is absolutely insane. Your HP uh, does not have to be above 70% to get an attack buff rather you can always get an attack buff no matter what which is insane so he doesn't have an hp restriction on that um if you guys have other like c2 c3 c4 c5 um it's not as important as getting the c1 but c2 is pretty helpful for energy recharge which is cool but you're not gonna have bennett fall below 78 hp most of the time or at least i hope not and the number one thing i also should say never get bennett to c6 or if you want to get Bennett to C6, make sure it's calculated because you can't revert it. You can't take it back. I sort of wanted to make Bennett C6 just so I could try some vaporize or melt comps. But even then, I don't think I would want to, to remain like that forever. So until constellations are, you know, not just set in stone, which I doubt they would change. Um, yeah, just... Just don't make him C6. It works the same. <laughs> it works the same. So anyways, uh, his weapon, super, super basic. You can grab any weapon with somewhat high base attack. Um, this is my highest like long sword with base attack um, because I have no 5-star weapons. I have no uh, good leveled up level 90 weapons as you guys can see here. They all suck pretty much and I have a lot to work on. Anyways. I'm just gonna go over some things here. My artifact said, never ever ever use Witch of the Flames ever on Bennett, period. What you should be having on your Bennett is a Noblesse piece. I'm gonna show you two instances where I use this build, which is terrible, and an instance where I just put um, a Noblesse piece on it. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. We're gonna go into the new dungeon. Um, you guys, you guys have been here before, so we're just gonna get into this dungeon. I'm not gonna be collecting the rewards because I'm trying to just do some ice dungeons to farm for Eula and whatever. So, uh, I'm not gonna be claiming the rewards, but it is what it is. Anyways, Bennett. Uh, oh, we didn't we didn't get his energy recharge up, which is which is sad. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm using Zhao, Albedo, Zhongli in the team, so make sure you keep that in mind because. The shield buff with the Geo Resonance does give an increase in attack. So let's just get straight into it. First, we use a Zhongli buff. This is the entire buff thing. So I, I want to show you guys the entirety of the thing. Um, just so you do guys don't get confused in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, um, first and foremost, uh, I'm not going to be using Bennett's buff until I get it. And I'm not going to be having the shield on. Uh, while his buff is active just so I can show you guys the um, Attack that I have All right As you guys can see, you know, the attack is okay, but it's <laughs> you don't want that you don't want that. Okay. Anyways um, I don't have my shield on I don't have anything on just full-on normal my attack is currently 1752 with Zhao level 80 with a black cliff pole at level 90 So let's get straight into it uh, boom. boom all right see i i was in the zone wait if i can <laughs> please don't die. please don't die. 
I just want to show how bad it. Okay, so now my Zhao went from 1,700 attack to 2,306 attack damage, which is nuts. And a lot of misconceptions about Bennett is the fact that his base attack is increased by his artifact set, which is false, 100% false. And I'll show you guys exactly why. So his base attack is over here, the white number over here. The green number is your artifacts. So no matter what its attack percentage, attack base, whatever it may be, it is an artifact, it is green, no matter what. So your base comes entirely from you leveling up your character here, as well as the weapon of choice. But as you guys know, my weapon of choice is terrible and my attack, my base attack is so bad. It's 563, it's terrible. So uh, yeah, that's that's what you're, <laughs> you're seeing here. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'll show you an instance where Zhao has no um, Bennett buff and I'm gonna just be attacking normally. So I'm just gonna restart this domain here to show you guys just Zhao doing Zhao damage without any Zhongli buff, without any like Geo Resonance buff, just straight on attack and yeah. All right, quick shield. We're gonna ult and this is Zhao without Bennett buff, as you guys know. I'm gonna show you guys attack 1752. Um, this is the current attack right now, 23k with a Veridescent set. <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot to show you this with a Veridescent set. So yeah. Um, I know this isn't the best build for Zhao, but I'm kind of just comfortable with it. <laughs> Plus, I didn't get any good gladiator rolls, so I'm kind of stuck with this. So, 26k uh, maximum output damage. He died. Unlucky. Uh, see, that's what you get for not <laughs> using the Bennett buff. Alright, we fully have it right now. Uh, we're just gonna shield up and petrify them so they don't be a nuisance. As you guys can see, um, Attack is boosted, 2473. And yeah, let's just get into it. 31,000, 32,000. That's about 36,000 in buff right there. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was, as, as soon as I went out of the buff right there, you guys, you guys can see how drastically it changed, how much, um, how much of a difference it made, um, in terms of attack. So, all right, let's just put the shield back on so I don't have to care about taking damage. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Bennett is nuts, guys. <laughs> he has to be one of the best characters in the game in terms of support. And yeah. We're not dead? Sure. We're just, uh... Okay. And now, you guys can see, I, I, I did over 30,000 damage from 26k. Oh, it did 32,000 damage actually, so 6,000 plus damage just from a Bennett buff, just from standing in his ult. Okay, so this is what it looks right now. Um, it shouldn't give much of a buff at all because he's 712. Um, they're all pretty much zero except for this, which is a attack percentage, but doesn't really make a difference. Um, this is 20, this is 16, and yeah, let's just get straight into it and see how much of a difference a Noblesse Oblige piece makes with a versus like pyro piece, attack piece, and just see how much of a difference it makes when you put it all together. All right, you guys, you guys saw before his attack went to 2400, and now because of the Bennett buff, now still 2473. I don't see much of a difference. I guess this is the the crazy part. Using an elemental burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds. Oh, so, I don't know. Let's see if it makes a difference. 29k. 29k still. I don't know. Looks normal to me. Um, Meta buff did like go away. So oh, he's not doing as much damage. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that was it for the video. I know it was short, I know it wasn't quite detailed as I wanted to be, but I just wanted to make sure people know this, and it is one of the greatest supports in the game. Um, so I would still say the Noblesse is the, the greatest set on him, um, just because of the elemental burst damage, but any any set, just put any set on Bennett, it does not matter. 
as long as your weapon is highly leveled as well as your character mine is not mine is just not is he's not high leveled but you can make him a higher level than what you saw he gave a 6000 attack bonus to Zhao during his ult imagine if you just upgrade his weapon upgrade his levels and last but not least upgrade his ult so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos like this i know this one's a little bit scuffed but i see you guys in the next one hopefully it's better and more concise and more detailed for you guys thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next video